What's up YouTube, welcome to The Gaming X. We are dedicated to delivering the best Xbox One, PS4 and Nintendo Switch reviews and news. And we will even be checking into events such as E3 over the coming year. So if you like what you see then please hit subscribe and if you want to know more then go ahead and check out our latest channel trailer. So today we're going to be taking a look at Mantis Burn Racing from Fufu Studios on the Nintendo Switch. Now this was previously released on the PS4, Xbox and PC and having played it before I've been excited since announcement to see what they do with the title with this port. So Mantis Burn Racing is a top down racer where you take on single player modes, online multiplayer and by far the best inclusion for the Switch, local multiplayer. So the majority of single player will take place in career mode a highly developed mode with 11 seasons to compete in which contain a combination of 15 different event types. Now these range from time trial, grand prix, elimination and battle races. So in total throughout career mode you're going to be taking on just over 150 different stages. So progression in career mode is linked to gears. Each race has gears not only for placing in first place but with additional challenges linked to each stage. Now these can range from winning without using Nitro to drifting for a specific amount of time. In total, each race has three challenges. Unlocking and completing the final stage will allow you to progress to the next season. So as you progress, the difficulty naturally increases, but this always fell in line with my own improving skill level. You will also gain access to a number of basic but useful vehicle upgrades, such as tire and gear upgrades as you progress. Now the controls are really where Mantis Burn truly excels. At a core level, it's very simplistic. In the way of controls, you're going to find very little outside of Accelerate, Brake and Nitro. Battle races do switch this up slightly with two weaponry controls in place, but the core gameplay itself remains the same. Now these controls are exactly what they need to be. Simple enough to pick up and play, but difficult to truly master. Cornering in itself is its own skill set and the slightest miscalculation will take you off the optimal race line. Playing online for the first time really showed me the level to which you can progress. One word of warning though, this is a cross-play title, meaning you will compete against Xbox and PC players, so they do have a head start against Switch players when it comes to skill level. So whether I was competing in single player or multiplayer, I never felt cheated when I lost. It felt fair and I simply had to continue practicing to master the controls and vehicle levels. So graphics, Mantis Burn Racing has lost none of its charm in the transition to Switch. The colours pop on screen and the environments themselves look great throughout. This game is running at a full 60 frames per second on the Nintendo Switch and you will struggle to find a racing game currently as smooth as this. Unfortunately, repetition does set in when it comes to visuals. Racing across free terrain types, city, desert and snow, I wish there was more variation as I did start to struggle to distinguish between tracks. With only 11 stages, I feel it's a missed opportunity to not make each stage completely unique rather than recycling landscape and assets. With sound and music, there's not too much to say. The cars and environmental sounds are serviceable, but nothing outstanding, and the music is largely electronic, but forgettable. So this soundtrack though had one job, and that was to reinforce the intensity and speed of the races, and here it succeeds. But with that being said, one of the tracks was actually a highlight for me. It reminded me of the life aquatic of Steve Sisso. But maybe that was just me. So with that, let's jump into our final verdict. Mantis Burn Racing is a fantastic release for the Nintendo Switch. Recently, we've seen some low quality ports transition to the platform. It's great to see a developer do this right. They've included all the features from previous releases, including a huge single player career mode. They've ensured 60 frames per second to deliver some of the smoothest racing you will find on the Switch. And then they've added all DLC and online multiplayer with crossplay functionality. On top of this, the controls are fantastic and completes 
one is a great value package. Now, does it have shortcomings? Of course. Repetition will kick in with reused assets, and with only 11 tracks, it would have been nice to see some more variation and creativity in place to keep engagement up. The battle mode also has moments of frustration as your vehicle continuously explodes, but with this all being said, Mantis Burn Racing deserves the support of the gaming community, and we need to especially support a game addressing switch ports in the right way. Now the Gaming X gives Mantis Burn today an 8 out of 10. Everybody, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, then please consider hitting subscribe. Your support means we can bring you more reviews just like this one. Thanks very much.